Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I wanna all night. Say it. I wanna all night. I wanna all night. We are on the sewing version and I don't know if you can feel the excitement in my voice because I I am really excited about this journey, okay? About this whole project I'm about to go into or I'm already going into. I'm so excited because I don't know if you know this feeling when you're about to sew a lot of things for your wardrobe. Like you're about to have like different outfits, different options for yourself. And you're making this by yourself it comes to like this feeling like i cannot explain it and in case you're not a tailor and you're just watching this video because you probably like my face you like my hand you know that feeling you get when you go for shopping like you go for shopping and you're about to get a whole lot of outfit for yourself that feeling you see that feeling that is what i'm feeling right now because my wardrobe is about to be lit, lit baby my wardrobe is about to be lit. my wardrobe is about to be lit, 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 lit. anyways we are on the sewing version and in case you don't understand what is happening your girl here is about to make um a whole lot of outfit for her wardrobe and i decided that i'm going to start with tight dresses bodycon dresses and yeah i have done the pattern drafting for the first um, type of dress i want to have in my wardrobe and i'm going to be using that particular one pattern to create three outfits okay so i'm going to be sewing three outfits from one pattern and i want to bring to your attention again i told you guys on the pattern drafting that i'm going to be adjusting the sleeves on each of the fabrics when i'm sewing each of the dresses and i'm going to be adjusting the neckline i have also decided to adjust the length the base how the base looks okay so if the first one is going to be having slits the second one might be a line and the third one might be something and yeah just make sure that you watch the whole sewing version for the three dresses i'm going to be making because they are going to be different from each other okay so yeah stick around and watch it okay so 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 let's get into today's video today i am going to be making this particular dress and as you can see here the dress is very simple short sleeve it has slits and the neck is just very simple a round neck okay so the particular neckline we created on the pattern is what i'm going to be cutting on this particular fabric and the sleeves is going to be short sleeve i'm going to show you guys how to draft out the pattern for the sleeves very easy on this video for like stretchy sleeves how to draft out a pattern for it and also i'm going to be showing you guys how i created the slits and yes that's what this video is all about now before before i get into the sewing version i promised you guys on the pattern drafting that i'm going to be bringing to your attention the amount of stretch that each of the fabrics have when i'm about to sew them okay so on this video here on this particular dress that we're about to make i am going to be calculating the amount of stretch i have on the fabric now if you don't know how to calculate the amount of stretch on your fabric that is what this video is all about okay so that is what we're going to be starting with okay before we cut out the pattern on the fabric we're going to be going to the cotton board and we're going to be calculating the amount of stretch i have on this fabric now why do we need to know the amount of stretch okay the amount of stretch is going to enable us know how we're going to be sewing our fabric together how we're going to be sewing the dress together the um, how much allowance we need to leave how much allowance we need to still take away you know all those things okay that is why we need to know the percentage of stretch we have on the fabric and you guys i'm not going to teach you how to calculate the amount of stretch on the fabric without telling you this okay how did i learn this i actually learned this on a youtube channel and on a channel called um sila c c sila c i'm going to put down her name you all know that i am very very bad with pronunciation because english is not my first language yeah okay so i'm going to put down her name on the screen and also i'm going to make sure that i put down her link on the description box below so you go see the video where i learned how to calculate the stretch on the fabric and you guys when you go to her page please don't forget to like her video subscribe to her channel like she's an awesome designer and also a beautiful musician like her voice her voice is angelic <laughs> okay i'm debating for the talk but anyways i learned how to calculate the stretch on the fabric from her channel and i'm going to put all the links and description you need so it can direct you to the particular video where i learned it from so in case you don't feel like you're going to understand my explanation which is still going to be simple you know me you know me 
it is still going to be simple it's still going to be detailed it's still going to be like you are here with me and i'm talking to you face to face okay so yeah in case you still don't understand i'm going to put down her link go watch it and learn it for yourself but anyways now that you know all this please if you're seeing this beautiful girl for the first time <laughs> If you're seeing this face for the first time and you are not subscribed to my channel don't let me arrest you okay don't let me call the popo on you go ahead and click on the subscribe button and while you are down there clicking on the subscribe button put on the notification bell so you never miss out on my uploads and also like at this video like this video for me and you know that thing that you do when you go on um, TikTok and you're watching like a comedy and you're laughing and the thing is very funny and you're like, ah, I need to share this to my family members. I need to share this to my, my village people. I need to share this to my, yes, that is what you should do on this video. Go ahead and share this video with your friends, okay? Click on the link, copy it and woo, start sharing, okay? Please do that for me. And yes, let's go on to the cutting table and start calculating the amount of stretch I have on my fabric. I love you. To calculate the stretch on the fabric, um, the first thing I will do is I am going to cut out my fabric to the width of 5 inches and to the length of 5 inches. Okay, so the width is going to be 5 inches wide and the length is going to be 5 inches long. Please, while cutting your fabric um, out, take note of this, okay, so that you will know the actual width of the fabric and the actual length of the fabric okay this is what will help you know the difference um seeing this on the fabric means this is the length like this is the length of the fabric and like this is the width of the fabric okay you know fabrics um crepe in nigeria most of the crepes in nigeria comes in 60 inches as length so this here this here will um, help you know that the length is this way why the width is this way okay this is very very necessary when calculating the stretch on your fabric you need to know if the width of the fabric is what stretches more than the length of the fabric okay so i am going to be cutting out like i said five inches So I'm going to cut this out, this square. Like I said, now I know that the actual length of my fabric, like the way it came, the length of it, this is what I will use in knowing. So the length of it, the actual length of it is this way. So I'm going to measure uh, or I'm going to find out the percentage of stretch that the length has. Okay, this is the length. And then I'm going to measure or calculate the percentage of stretch that the width have. This is the width, okay? So this is what I'm using to identify where the length is and where the width is. Okay, this here. We all have it on the fabric. On the top, you see this. On the length, you see this. This particular thing here. Okay, let me bring it close. So most of the time when your fabric um looks the same both front and back this is what you use in knowing which side is actually the front side that's the good side and the wrong side okay but my fabric the wrong side is obvious and the right side is obvious okay so yeah but this is what i use in knowing the actual length of my fabric and the width okay i just want you to understand that particular aspect i'm going to go ahead and measure the percentage of stretch that i have on the length of my fabric and once i'm done doing that i'm going to now measure the percentage of stretch i have on the width of my fabric and this is very important we know boots okay now for the length i am going to go ahead and place the um, starting point of my tape on this point here and now remember my fabric length is five inches right I am going to go ahead and stretch my fabric to see how many inches is added to my five inches okay so when i stretch my fabric now make sure you stretch really hard just hold on to the base here the beginning of the tip here just on this point here and stretch the rest out okay and let's see how much inches is added to my five inches 
So when I stretch my fabric, I am getting six inches. Okay, so my five inches length of fabric stretches out to six inches, which means one inch is added to the length. Okay, I had five inches before, and when I stretch it out, I get six inches. And what does that mean? It means that the percentage of stretch that I have on my fabric is 20%. Do you understand? When your fabric stretches out um, up to one inch, it means that the stretch of your fabric is 20%. When it stretches out up to two inches, it means that the percentage of stretch on your fabric is 40%. When it stretches out to three inches more, it means that the percentage of stretch on your fabric is 60%. When it stretches out to four inches more, it means that the percentage of stretch on your fabric is 80 inches. And when your fabric stretches out to five inches, like you have five inches of length and you stretch it and you get 10 inches, which is five inches added to your five, that is a 100% stretch, right? It means that your fabric doubles up to itself, like it doubles. 5 inches produce 5 inches more. That is a 100% stretch. So when I hold on to my tape here, at the edge here, see? And I'm just holding on to this part. And I, and I try to stretch the 5 inches of length. And I'm getting 6 inches. So it means 1 inch has been added to the actual length. And that 1 inch means 20%. Now, assuming I did this and I'm getting only 5.5 if I stretch my fabric and I'm getting only 5.5 which means only half an inch of stretch is added to my 5 inches it means that my fabric stretches out 10% okay half an inch of stretch means 10% 1 inch is 20% 1.5 is 30% 2 inches is 40% 2.5 is 50%, 3 inches is 60%, 3.5 is 70%, 4 inches is 80%, 4.5 is 90%, and 5 is 100%. Okay, I hope you guys understand. Now, so I already know now that it is 1 inch of stretch that I got on my length, which is a 20% of stretch. I'm going to do the same thing for the width okay i'm going to measure the stretch i have on the width of my fabric and i'm going to do that by placing the beginning of my tape on this point here and then i'll try to stretch my i'll try i'm just holding on to this part here the rest is free i'm going to try to stretch my the width of my fabric that is five inches i'm going to try to stretch it and see how many inches is added to it okay well this is it and stretching it also i'm getting six so my five inches of fabric stretches out to six which means one inch is what is added to the stretch okay and one inch means what 20 percent of stretch okay so please don't get it twisted don't get it confused one inch of um, stretch added to your actual length or your width is a 20 percent stretch two inches is a 40 percent stretch half inch is 10 percent okay 1.5 is 30. if you need me to i'm going to still do for the other fabrics when i'm cutting them i'm going to still measure the percentage of stretch so if you watch this video you watch the next one you watch the third one there is no way you, you will not become a professional in calculating the stretch on your fabric okay trust me i got you okay so now that i know that the width of my fabric stretches out to six which is one inch extra added to my five inches that is a 20 percent stretch the left also the same thing one inch of stretch added to the fabric which means i have 20 percent stretch on the fabric both on the length and on the width now i know how to cut my fabric now i know that um since i have no zip on the fabric i'm going to cut my fabric to the actual measurement i have on the pattern without no allowance and if i decide to add any allowance it's going to be for the weaving okay for the purpose of weaving the fabric i'll need that extra allowance there to weave but apart from that I don't need to add um, zip I don't need to add any extra allowance for sewing or ease because the fabric stretched out by 20% and 20% is enough for me to fit into the dress once I'm done sewing okay so I um, hope you guys were able to understand how to calculate the percentage of stretch if you have any question or any confusion please let me know in the comment section and let's go ahead and cut out the pattern on the fabric
drafted out this pattern with me please grab your pattern paper and also your stretchy fabric and let's go ahead and cut this okay so what i'll do now is i'm going to bring in the fabric that i just finished calculating the percentage of stretch i'm going to lay this down and fold this fabric into two okay so do the same thing i'm doing if you're cutting your pattern with me fold your fabric into two and i'm just going to grab my pattern paper quickly and place this on the folded fabric now remember that this fabric is stretchy and what i'm doing right now is i am about to cut out the front piece okay i'm starting with the front piece once i'm done cutting out the front piece i'm going to cut out the back piece now when cutting i told you guys that i wasn't going to add allowance because this is like stretchy fabric and this is going to be like a tight fitted dress but what i did is i actually left half an inch allowance and this is not for ease or anything or so you know i'm going to sew into my measurements i just need this allowance because i'm going to be taking this dress to the weaver to weave okay that's what i'm trying to show you here this is what i left on the side and you guys believe me this is not a sewing allowance okay this is just for the weaving now i went ahead to repeat the same thing i did for the back folded my fabric into two and then i placed my back piece and i cut this out and this is what i had okay so this is my back piece you can see the neckline and you can see it is written here okay in case for the doubt the thomas <laughs> this is the back pattern being cut on the fabric okay on a folded fabric and let's go ahead and sew our piece together so to sew your front and back piece together it is pretty simple just place the two of them together like front piece back piece right side facing right side that's the good side of the fabric facing the good side of like yeah you get and what i'm going to do is that on the side of my um pieces like on the side of my front and back piece i am going to be sewing in 0 0.75 because i told you guys i'm going to be sewing into my measurements my fabric really stretch okay and i wanted to tell you guys what i actually did off the camera that you guys did not know and i did not film this i wish i did after sewing this um after sewing this by 0 0.5 inch i started to try it out and i realized that i had like it was loose okay i see i it was not as fitted as i wanted i went in again with another sewing okay so you guys are going to see a lot of sewing on the outfit because i i kept sewing it in to get that perfect fit so you can do this if you're actually sewing your wardrobe by yourself like you're sewing the outfit for yourself not for your client because you don't it's not good for you to keep trying your client's clothes please it's not good for you to even try okay but if it's your outfit please do not hesitate to try it on before you do your finishing sewing okay and right now i'm sewing the shoulders and i'm sewing the shoulder by um 0 0.5 inch because that's the allowance i left and that's what i'm sewing in okay when it comes to the shoulder i'm not sewing into my measurements i am sewing by the allowance i left while cutting the fabric now what i did again is from the base of the dress i went ahead to open up my slit now a lot of you feel like creating the slits on your dress is hard please it is not hard once you're done sewing your dress and you want a slit on the dress just pick a side that you want it if you want it on the side or on the back that's if you have a sewing at the back all you have to do is take your seam ripper or your razor mark the point where you want your slit to stop okay from your base up to the point you want it to stop and just start losing that is what i'm doing on my table oh not my table my sewing machine that's what i'm doing okay you can see me ripping this up okay and i'm ripping this up from the base of the dress to the point where i want my slit to stop and when i say base i think i've seen a question where somebody asked me Ma, when you say base what do you mean i mean the down sister carry your seam ripper from the down of the clothes start losing okay lose it and lose it to the point where you want your slit to stop i think my slit stopped at 18 inches this is what i have so far i'm noticing some few adjustments i need to do on mine okay so you can see this gaping here here okay this i am going to be trying or i'll find a way to sew this in probably take a dart there so it's just on the front you can see it here 
So I find a way to take a dart of half an inch in. Just half an inch. So quarter an inch on a side. Or I don't know, but just half an inch, half an inch. I Maybe mean, the back is okay. And what I'll do now is I'm going to decide on what to do to the neckline. Either I just double fold and sew on the neckline. Like, should we do that? I'll just take it to the weavers, the weave, and then I'll just fold once. I think that's what I should do for this neckline. Okay. To eliminate the bulge I'm having on the armhole, like I said in the previous video you just watched, all I have to do is take it that at that point. Okay, I did not plan on taking that on the dress, but then I think the pattern, um, I did not check if I had like you know it's a pattern, so um, cutting it on the fabric and sewing it and then trying it on made me see that I had like a bulge there and I was not comfortable with it. Okay, so to eliminate it, I'm going to take it that. And to take that, that I'm going to calculate what I have on the armhole. You can see my tape on the armhole. Okay, I'm calculating what I have there. And this is happening on the front piece. Okay, this is the front piece. And I'm calculating the armhole. I'm going to mark the middle points by folding my tape into two. So I'm going to now mark the middle point of the armhole because that's where I'm going to be taking my darts. Okay. So this is how you eliminate it. If you have this problem on your own pattern too, you just said that the pattern on me and you're having this problem, please do the same thing. Trust me, it's just you're not going, it's not gonna be visible. Okay. It's just something that you would do to just give you this proper fitting. Now the next thing I'm going to do is mark the length of my darts. The length is going to be 3.5 inch because I don't want it to be well pronounced. I just want a little dart there to eliminate that bulge. And I marked 3.5 inch in from that middle point. And I'm going to be marking a dart of 0.5 inch. And that is going to do the trick. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to sew from the middle point. I'll go in by that's 3.5 inch like this. And I'm going to be sewing in half inch as the dart. We're going to sew this together. Okay. So you see how I eliminate my bulge on the armhole. If you're comfortable with the board you're having on the armhole, please, okay, just skip the step. It is not a must, yeah? It is not. So this I'm going to sew. I told you guys I'm just going to sew this by um, half an inch. And when sewing your dart, for me, I don't know what other people do, but for me... I like to sew from the widest part of the dart okay that's from the open um yes the open side the open edge of the dart i'm going to sew from that widest part to the narrow part okay exactly what i'm doing here just like making a cone right a triangle or something that's what i'm doing here and this is going to eliminate any kind of bulge that i have on my dress i'm whole so what I did here, I'm going to do on the other side of the armhole. And this is happening on the front piece alone. Okay. Now we can go ahead and create the sleeves. Yay. So to create the sleeves, you know this. If you are not a beginner and you've sewn something before, you know that to create your sleeve, you first need to measure your armhole on the dress or top or whatever you're making. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure my armhole. Okay, so please forgive my phone arising. It is not conscious. Okay, it just keeps coming. And I don't know where it's coming from because I don't have an accent. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just measuring what I have on, the, uh, on my armhole. Okay, so I'm going to measure and I got 8.5. And this 8.5 is what I am going to use to create my sleeves, okay? I am going to be creating my sleeve pattern. And to do this, I have my pattern paper here folded into two. And yeah, the sleeves I'm going to be adding to this particular dress is a short sleeve, very, very short. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rule out a starting line. And that is going to be one inch. It's going to be one inch down from this point.
so here is my starting line the next thing i am going to do is i am going to divide my round bust by 12 and plus 0 0.5 inch so my round bust is 36 divided by 12 equals to 3 plus 0 0.5 gives you 3.5 so from this point here i'm going to be coming down by 3.5 so i'll place my tape from the starting line and i'll mark 3.5 inch down now i know i have not done a proper sleeve pattern like updated but i'm going to be doing that but still i think most of my videos where i create sleeves i am always creating like a sleeve pattern like easiest way to create a sleeve pattern so that everybody can enjoy and you know be able to create one for yourself now once i have this once i have um this is my they call it caps height okay so you can call it whatever you want to call it but they call it caps height and you saw how i got it right i divided my round bust by 12 plus 0 0.5 inch and i got 3.5 so now that i have this what i will mark on the caps height line is remember the measurements i measured on my dress the armhole i placed my tape to measure the armhole and i got 8.5 now i'm marking 8.5 on this line so this is 8.5 here I hope you can see it so this is 8.5 so what i'll do now is connect 8.5 to this top here to the starting line okay so this is what i have here is 8.5 and i got this for my um i got this 8.5 from my dress okay now from the starting line i'm going to come down and mark the length of my sleeves and the length i'll be using is six inches like i said this is really a short sleeves okay the sleeves i'm going to be using for this particular color of dress like this particular dress is a short sleeves when we're creating the other one and we're creating a long sleeve we're going to use this pattern but we're going to adjust it into a long sleeves okay so this is my length so this is the length now what i'll do next is i am going to be calculating what i have from here to here so i can divide it by two okay so from the top here i'll go down to the 8.5 and i can see that i am getting nine and quarter i'm going to fold my tape into two just because i want to divide it by two okay so dividing it by two is just place your tape like this and yeah i have my middle point here so this is my middle point on the middle point i'm going to be going up by 0 0.5 inch okay and what i'll do is i am going to connect from this point to this point using a curve okay so this is the curve and then i'm just going to uh, connect like this you can do like this or you can use like a straight ruler and just go straight it's basically your choice okay so i'm just going to go like this okay and this is for my back this is for my back now for the front i'm going to place my curve ruler here and i will go down okay like this from here to 
the base here see and then I'm just going to place from the middle point here I'll connect from to this point using a slight curve this is like a very easy way to create sleeve there are other ways you can create a sleeve pattern okay so this is like my go-to easy way like if I can't crack my brain I just do this and this inner one here is the front okay so this here is the front and this is the back now I am going to divide my round um, length or where the sleeve is stopping because I measured it on my body and it was 12 inches okay so I'm going to divide the 12 by 2 and I'm going to mark it here 12 divided by 2 gives you 6 and I'm marking 6 here okay so um remember what i'm working with is um what i'm working with on my dress is 8.5 i'm just going to calculate this curve so i get 8.5 see it is more than okay so here is my 8.5 here is my 8.5 i'm sorry this is messy i think we're going to be drafting a new sleeve pattern so i'll connect the 8.5 to this normally we're supposed to use like a slight curve also to do this okay like just slight okay now let's go ahead and cut this So I'm going to cut out the back and then when I open this up, I'll cut out the front, okay? So the, so now this here is going to be the front, the, here is going to be the front, so here is the front and here is going to be the back. Sorry, here is going to be the back. Sorry, here is going to be the back. Here is going to be the back because we have the back here and want to cut this to the front. Okay, so we're going to go in from this line. Sorry, I don't know what is happening. So we're going to go in from this one. We're going to cut from this F. Just, if you want me to do like a proper sleeve pattern, like I know different ways we can create sleeves. I can do that for you, okay? So... Just let me know. Okay, so this is what we have. So you see, the front goes in and the back is out. Okay, so this is the sleeve pattern I'll be using to cut up my fabric. And you remember, I did not add any allowance, right? You guys were not surprised because it's a stretchy fabric. We're going to be sewing into the measurement. I did that. For the dress when i was making the dress i sewed into the measurement but i'm still going to leave allowance on the fabric um like half an inch because of the hemming okay when i'm hemming it when i take it to the weavers for them to weave so that they have where to weave okay so this is it no allowance added and this is what we're going to be using okay and this is going to fit so well so i went ahead to cut out my sleeve on the fabric okay so i have two pieces here because yes of course you have two hands <laughs> left and right so i have two pieces here and while cutting my pattern or the fabric i left allowance round and this is for the hemming like the weaving okay so yeah i'm going to be weaving every part of this outfit so i need this small small allowances okay because i'm not doing these allowances for the um to like say okay sewing allowance no i'm going to sew into my measurements so yeah why i once i was done cutting out the sleeve i realized that it was not aligning very well so i just had to trim a little bit and yeah i 
I'm going to try to correct this. Maybe probably create another sleeve pattern on the next dress or something. But I just realized that it was not aligning. So I think there was an issue somewhere. But anyways, maybe it was when I was cutting. I just decided to trim a little bit. And now it is aligning. I'm just going to go ahead and sew my sleeve by... Before I sew, I have to measure. Okay? Always necessary. Now, no matter how professional you are... Always measure what you have on the sleeve. It has to align with what you have on your dress, okay? On your dress armhole. So once I measure, I found out what SS I need to take in. And I'm going to sew in that SS, okay? So do not just look at what I'm doing. Please measure yours. Find out the SS that you need to take in and sew by that SS, okay? Don't go and say, uh, Vivian had 0.5 inch SS. And because I sewed in 0.5 inch SS, you're going to sew 0.5 inch inch ss on yours sis calculate your own find out what you have okay your dress is not my dress your size is not my size so <laughs> measure okay once i was done sewing i'm going to flip this to the right side and now i'm going to attach my sleeves to the armhole of my dress now you guys see as I'm talking right now to you, I'm like, I'm extremely excited because once I was done making this and I wore this, I was so fucking proud of myself. Sorry for using that word, but I was so proud of myself because this dress came out so nice. Like, it is one of my favorite outfits right now. It is one of my favorite outfits. I think I've worn it more than how many times since I sold it, okay? Because it goes well with my boots. You guys know that. You you all know that I just got a boot. And if you don't know this, I have a video on my other channel where I ordered for a boot for the first time in my life. I'm buying a boot for myself. And it goes really well with this dress, okay? So, yes, I am excited about this. And now, it is also making me excited about my future projects to come now i know the videos are not going to be coming like back to back to back to back to back to back but they're going to be coming okay because i'm already sewing this and i'm already filming almost everything i have these videos on my laptop and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna take my time to edit them but just best believe that they're all gonna come to you okay no matter how long it takes your guy is gonna come through with see my wardrobe is not i'm not coming through for you i'm coming through for myself my wardrobe is about to be lit <laughs> I don't know if you understand. But hey, back to the business. I'm sewing my sleeve to the armhole of my dress. And now I am done. I'm going to flip this back to the right side. I hope you guys understood how I attached this. Okay, if you don't understand, probably check the next video. Sorry, I was just talking too much. I didn't tell you. I know a lot of people hate that fact of me. But anyways, I love it. I love that I chit chat every time. Like I'm always in the mood to chit chat. Yes let's go into the next thing to do okay so i went ahead to weave my dress and the last thing i'm going to do is sew in the neckline because i am done weaving this is the neckline of my dress i went to weave i asked my weaver to use a black thread so that it looks like really ready made okay so you see that the black thread really complements the um the dress because the dress has like black on it also so yes i weave this using black thread round on the slits on the base on the sleeves on the neckline the inner sides i weaved everything and it is looking really really good now the last thing we need to do is to hem the neckline and also hem the slits using hemming gum okay for the neckline the hemming i'm talking about is just folding once and sewing by 0 0.25 inch that is quarter an inch okay so that's what i'm sewing here you can see how tiny my sewing is because i'm just sewing this by 0 0.25 now there are other ways you can finish your neckline you can decide to um create a facing you can decide to use i don't know but yes there are other ways you can do this but this is what i went with because i want to be able to fit into this dress and i want it to stretch whenever i'm trying to wear it to the neck so that's why i'm doing this okay so once i was done sewing the neck i'm going to use my hemming gum now and close every other part up okay the slits you can see how i am hemming it so this is the slit that i'm hemming right now using my hemming gum and you guys this is how i created this dress okay so the next dress is going to be coming yeah um the other dress is going to be coming and you guys i did a little bit of change on that dress so i think you want to watch how i change up that pattern to create the other dress okay stay tuned 
yes this is my wardrobe okay i'm coming through with everything i did for myself okay yeah and if you are on this vibe where you're trying to make outfits for yourself or you want to just you know get better in your sewing and use the opportunity and create beautiful things for yourself or more this is where you need to be okay subscribe you don't need to market or advertise this channel to you you can see what is happening okay yes i like to toot my own horn i like to hype myself <laughs> if i don't who will thank you guys for watching i really appreciate each and every one of you i am going to be seeing you guys on the next video i am sending my love and light to you wherever you are okay i love you so much please know this and i actually want us to grow together okay so yeah i'll be seeing you in my next video like i said i'm going into the vibe of wearing dresses anyways this one this particular dress here this black dress is i stole it i stole it for my sister's wardrobe and she's not here she went to her workplace her store she sells hair i stole her dress and i'm using it to make a video sue me sue me if you have never taken something from your sister sue me